Okay, everybody, uh, my name's Lindsay. I am part of Audacious Manchester South team, and I am bringing you today's devotion uh, on relationships and friendships. Hope you're having a great day so far and have an even better day after this. Um, I've been thinking recently um, um, about intentional friendships and my daughter, my eldest daughter, she's 11 and she has uh, just left primary school. So lots of tears and emotions flying around in our household at the minute. One, I do not look old enough to have an 11 year old. And two, she is just not ready to leave her friends and go to high school. Um, and it just got me thinking about how um, as we grow uh, as, as babies and into toddlers, um, our inter human interactions develop and we start to begin you know, forming basic relationships with stuff. And all throughout our school life and our teenage years, we are, you know, we're forced into friendships and relationships with those that we're in school with or, you know, extracurricular activities or youth groups with. Our friendships are almost automatic because of those people that we spend every day, day in and day out with. And obviously there's challenges with that. We have, you know, in high school, when the hormones kick in and the girls, I mean, sorry, I can only speak from a girl's perspective. I have three girls and I am a girl. And just the whole, um, the identity crisis, which I'm sure is translatable to guys as well. Of will they like me? Will they be my friend? Am I cool? And all that, all those thoughts and those uh, questions that come into your mind in, in, in high school um, and just navigating that. And then suddenly, We've finished school, we've finished college and we're thrust out into the world and we have to then start to be intentional about building relationships. And it's basically a choice. We've not got those forced lunchtime playground football games or, you know, sitting in a corner with your snack with your friends. It has to become a choice. When we look at God, he in his very being is a triune God. He's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And he's demonstrating community in who he is. And that sets us an example straight away of the importance of friendships, community, and interactions within our lives. And um, we're not designed to be alone. We know that, it says in the Bible, we're not designed to be alone, but so often we can find ourselves in a lonely place and being alone. In Proverbs 27, 17, we read that iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. And as we seek to become more Christ-like um, and follow God, we know that we're guided by the Holy Spirit to shape our lives, challenging us, grow, challenges to grow, but also I believe that God uses people in our lives to help shape us into the people that uh, we need to be. So it's important to make time for those relationships um, and and who uh, for people that can encourage us um, and help us to grow and to point out areas of weakness, even though that's hard. And the sharpening, the sharpening we get from these relationships makes us much easier. It, it comes much easier from a friend than from a stranger. So really simple challenge this morning. Perhaps you're feeling lonely. Perhaps you think, well, I, you know, I don't have that person to speak into my life. But the truth is, it's not going to happen automatically. It's not just going to, someone's going to walk into your life. It, it's about intention and intentionally seeking out those relationships in your life. And you, you might be quite a shy person, but my challenge today, I want to encourage you to, to ask God, firstly, for good friends. Um, ask God to bring someone into your life that you can share with, that you can trust, that can challenge you and help you grow. Um, take time to invest in others equally. You reap what you sow. And so if you're someone that's thinking, oh, I'm really lonely, but you never invite anyone around to your house, then there you go. Why don't you today invite a family or a person around for a meal or intentionally arrange a coffee date? Why don't you initiate it? Because you do reap what you sow. Um, and, you know, invest in other people. Actually choose to, you know, to bless those people, to to help those people, to go out your way for those people. And also allow your friendships to blossom over time, inviting God to be the center of that friendship, um, 
to be the centre of your conversations. Pray into that, that he is the centre of your conversations and encouragement to each other. And that's all I want to say. Have a great day.